Right, this is a quick, quick run through on the Genius 8x2. Full install, the full, the full nine yards uh, coming soon. I'll just show you what I've done. I've plugged a LAN cable in um, to my eight-way switch up there. I found a bit of a Heath Robinson 12 volt supply. I don't want to send 12 volts 50 meters out to the to the field. We'll send mains out there, and I've got this little 12 volt supply which we'll put out there. I've got a new cabinet for this and a few other things, networking, maybe another switch out there, who knows. And um, I've got three ethernets going out there and I've got a new cabinet on order. Uh, sorry, it's just arrived 10 minutes ago. But in the main, I've just downloaded the software and well, I'll show you how it works. All right, it didn't take me long to get this. I haven't read the manual. I just plugged it all together. And um, so I'm on manual. I don't know what these do, but it doesn't matter. Um, so that will be my 12.4 or 18 or whatever on, on VFO A. And then on VFO B, I'll be able to select anything. Presumably, I can't select the same antenna, VFO A and B, but, <laughs> as if you would want to. So I just need a way of, um, oh, that's cool. I can switch it off as well. <laughs> So main click and then B. Fantastic. Just a little teaser really about how this how this works. Very, very good. Software works fine. I mean it just worked first time for me. I've also got the LAN connection here. This will be out in the field. This power supply I found, which I need to tinker with because uh, it's a little bit Heath Robinson at the moment. And these go click. Obviously, we don't get lights on VFO A and B or Radio 1 and Radio 2. But I want to use it in a particular way. In a modern day, you want software that works well. And I just like the look of it. I just want to know how to change the name Antenna 1 and Antenna 2. That's all. Device settings, antennas. Oh, here we are. I can do it. Let's do. Let's do. I can do it. I can do it. Signature 12.4. Very long wire. There we are. Save that. Done it. And there we are. So on A there, B there. And then we'll put the A on on the A's, okay? So it's it's A's that are, I've got the high power, and most of the time, B is gonna be on uh, VFOB. But it might be that the 160 meter long wire might be quite good for receive. On the other hand, we might want 160 meter on transmit, or whatever. I just think it's great. Absolutely tremendous good isn't it <laughs> i can't believe i'm so lucky i'm so lucky fantastic you've made a great piece of kit and the software is just how it should be in the modern world all right another video here and i've got a playlist there but this gets a big mark big install video coming soon we'll put it all outside and then we'll use it for real i don't think i've got time to actually use this at CQ Worldwide. We'll see how we get on tomorrow. All right, adios, bye for now.